Hello dear students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we will be discussing about chemical properties of non-metals. So now friends, let's talk about non-metals first, right? Non-metals generally have a tendency to accept electrons, right? In order to become stable, what do non-metals do is they accept electrons. And when these non-metals accept electrons, they form negatively charged ions, exactly. So, as non-metals have a tendency to accept electrons and form negatively charged ions, non-metals are called as electronegative elements. So, what are non-metals called? Yes, electronegative elements. Why? Yes, because non-metals accept electrons and form negatively charged ions. So, you can remember this simply from the name that is electronegative. Electro stands for electron, yes, and we know that non-metals accept electrons. And on accepting electrons, what do they form? Negatively charged ions, so electronegative elements, exactly. So, based on this observation, let's quickly define non-metals, right? So, non-metals are electronegative elements that accept electrons to form what? Negatively charged ions. Let's take an example to understand this, right? For example, we have chlorine over here. What's the atomic number of chlorine? 17, exactly. So, its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 7. That means chlorine has 7 electrons in its valence shell. So, in order to become stable, chlorine needs one more electron, right? Okay. So, in order to complete its octet, what does chlorine do is, chlorine accepts one electron. So, when chlorine accepts one electron, it gets converted into negatively charged chloride ion. That is, it forms an anion, exactly. So, as you can see over here now, how many electrons are present in the outermost shell? Now, eight electrons. That means, now chlorine becomes stable. But friends, how do these non-metals actually react, right? To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.